Learn about the mis- wait, uh, mysterious crows. So it looks like we have some crows to find, or at least people that can tell us a thing or two about crows. It's kind of random, but... Let's see. I, c I really want to change the look that she's got going on. I don't know why. It just doesn't really appeal to me very much. I was going for like a an Imperial Battle Mage almost, but... I don't think I was successful. We go where we please, wingless. Go away. Oh. We peck out your eyes. Eyes? Ah, sweet, juicy eyes. Such flavor. Ah, tender bits. Vile beasts. Did I just see some crows talk? I think I just saw some crows talk. Constable Drados. Come to gawk at the birds. Just keep those heels spring loaded, friend. The big one there nearly pecked an apostle's ear off. She said it was due for a replacement anyway, but even so, I'm sure it didn't tickle. Actually, I need to ask a, uh, the crow something. <laughs> well, may Sothacil bless your attempt. Honestly, if you got them to stop bickering and babbling for even a moment, I'd probably slip a spring. Do you know where I can find more of the crows? Other than everywhere, the loudest gather around a tree just outside the basilica. I assume those are the ones you're after. Now listen, they'll demand some kind of ridiculous tribute, I guarantee it. Don't do anything stupid, alright? Alright, thank you. I pity the fat <coughs> totem that has to clean his holy likeness up there. I've never seen so many droppings in one place. Have you ever seen something like this before? What, like the birds? No. We did have a skeveton infestation once. Someone left the fabricator running and it spewed out thousands and thousands of the things. The apostles deployed clockwork cats to catch them, but then we had too many cats. This city is so weird. So someone sent out clockwork hounds? Exactly. By the time Sothaseel caught wind of it, the fortress was packed full of wind-up bears and motorized tigers. Quite a scene. The clockwork god destroyed all of them, except the Skeevatons. I like to think he has a sense of humor. Yeah, okay, goodbye. So now we're, we have to go talk to the crows, which should be a pretty interesting endeavor all in itself. Talk to the crows above. Should be around here somewhere. Ah, I found you. Hello. Or be pecked, dude. You realize I could just blast you with my staff. Just saying. Spy, stay back, spy. This tree belongs to the Black Feather Court. The Duke claimed it by long sovereign roost. Look for shiny somewhere else. Go, go. Look, relax. All right, I'm not a spy. I just want to talk. Spy, <coughs> no talking. I know a spy when I see one. The Exarchs of Dross may share meat with featherless giants. But not the Black Feather Court. In wartime, only spies approach without tribute. Every bird knows that. I mean, clearly you don't know what you're talking about because I'm not a spy. But anyways, what if I go get a tribute for the court? Tribute? Yes! Shinies for the Duke! We demand a treasure from our enemy. The metal man who shouts at us, Constable Drados. May his tail droop and his wings wither. Snatch up his silver treasure. And then we parlay. Go! Where can I find this treasure? Perhaps he carries a treasure beneath his clickety-clanking clothes. Or maybe he hides treasure away in the stone nest called Cloisters. That is for you to find out, Featherless. Now go! Yeah, whatever, goodbye. Well, they're a little paranoid, don't you think? So I'm assuming this is him. I... I think I would rather steal from his how or from this place instead of from him. Let me just verify. I kind of want to see. Yeah, I figured that was going to be him. All right. Bastion, you're going to have to go AFK for a second because I am going to do something you're not very fond of. Oh, God. Okay, it's right here. Cloisters. Um, 
It says below. How do I get below? Oh, it's right here. Aren't you afraid? Oh, they're gonna catch me. The worst thing about this is that I can't, like, I can't do like a Skyrim hack and just kind of pause it, and, or not pause it, but a save it and then reload. All right, it says hidden. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sure. Why not? How do I get out of here again? I'm so confused right now. Oh, it's this thing. I always forget. These things are so weird. I don't like them. They scare me. They don't scare me. But I don't like them. <laughs> Okay, lost in the gloam it is. Let's go, let's go. Dude, there's like this really cool quasi griff that's I uh that I want to use for for this character. That's a uh, uh, an event reward, man. It looks so cool. Like the the one before we had this was all black. This new one is like goldish almost and it looks really cool. I can't wait to get it. Do you have a shiny speak spy? Uh I stole this belt buckle from the constable's trunk. I hope it's enough. Such sparkle and shine. A prize, a prize from our enemy. Perhaps you are a worthy crow friend after all. Ask your questions, ask. He's getting all excited over a belt buckle. I mean, to be fair, it's a bird. I guess it doesn't. he doesn't know the value of these things, but belt buckles typically aren't that expensive. Unless you go for like an over-the-top brand or whatever, but for the most part, they're pretty cheap, I I guess. Uh, anyways, did one of you steal a key for the Clockwork Ballistica? B b basilica? A key? Yes, the great prize, the shiniest lock poker. Our heroic knight of marrow breached the gates and claimed it from the clumsy apostles and our exarch foes. <coughs> the featherless ones squabble over its whereabouts, but they'll never find it. Never! Never? Really? Well, can you at least tell me where it is? No. Only our Duke of Crows knows. You cannot speak to him, crow friend. Not without an escort. Find the knight of marrow. He is our grandest champion, sleek and strong. Honor him with shinies and sweet meats, and he may help. Where's this Knight of Marrow that you speak of? By a great waterfall, south and east, swooning like a lovesick dove, no doubt. Even now he builds his lady love a glorious nest, but she is fickle and he is foolish. Go and talk to him. He needs adventure. I'm assuming it's southeast and not south and east, but okay, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, why do you care so much, uh, about the, uh, why do you care about this key so much? If you see it, you will <clears throat> know. No silver glistens and gleams like the prize. The Exarts and the Shadow Women want it, but it's ours now. Ours! The Knight of Merrow claimed it for the court. Ask him. Who are these Exarchs again? Enemy crows. The Exarchs of Dross, they served as Shadow Women and tried to steal the great prize from us. But the Black Feather Court bows to no one. Our Duke will rend their Queen of Chaff to pieces and we will feast on her entrails. <laughs> I kind of like this bird, I'm not gonna lie. Shadow Woman? Shrikes, weeping, featherless pale skins that swat and curse us. And their other servants also, black robed cultists. May they eat sour meat and die. How did you learn how to talk? How did you learn how to talk? We crows are clever and wise. Wise! We bend our words into sentences just as you do. Except we're better at it because we're smarter than you. Yes, yeah, debatable. That, <laughs> that bird's so stupid. Find the Knight of Marrow. Is it still in the city? It apparently... Oh, God. Oh, well. Let's just go. I'll take the damage. It's fine. I, for some reason, oh, that reminds me. I gotta get Bastion out. 
where is this? I'm assuming it's up? Huh. So I clearly have to go up there somehow. Maybe I go around this way? You know, the map would be a very good friend of mine right now, but I'm kind of not being smart about it right now. Maybe the crow's right. Who is this? Do you come to challenge the Knight of Marrow? Have at thee, featherless foe. <laughs> if you be foe, cast down your silly gauntlet. But I warn you, you touch this magnificent trove at your peril. I gathered these treasures for my lady love, and I would sooner die than let you take them. What say you, featherless? What say you? Uh, well, for starters, I'm not here to steal your treasure. I just want an audience with the Duke of Crows. The Duke holds court in Blackfeather Castle. I could arrange a meeting, but can't you see? Heartache has clipped my wings. Lady Blightwing spurns me. My heroic exploits and shiny <coughs> gifts only bore her. Mine is a tale of woe. Woe! Well, if I help you win over your lady love, will you take me to see the Duke? You would do that? But how? I gathered a great hoard of glistening treasures and sweetmeats, and she only laughed. Laughed! Perhaps a different gift. You featherless ones sometimes woo with song and verse, yes? Teach me! You want me to help you write a love poem? Yes, a poem! A trinket unlike any other! The flightless oafs who live here in the fortress hid a great hoard of words in one of their stone houses. If you help me pluck the tenderest verses, I will take you to see the duke. Alright, I'll help you write this poem. Follow me! The word vault is this way! This way! Uh... Yes. Follow you. How am I supposed to follow you when you, A, fly straight up, and B, disappear. <laughs> but okay, we'll just go with that one, shall we? I'm gonna assume it's up top. No, it's not. It's up down the bottom. Sorry, Bastion. I'm over there confusing you, aren't I? He just appeared behind me. Whoa. Ask for poetry advice. Read poems. All right. Let's start with this Nord. You need something. I'm <coughs> sort of in the middle of this theorem, and... Uh... Yep, lost it again. <laughs> well, you got my attention now. What do you want? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to distract you, if you will. But I'm looking for a good love poem. Any suggestions? Love poem? By the gears, why do you want one of those? I don't stray far from the mathematics schools nowadays. But I used to love... The Ballad of Breezebraw, the Battle Axe. <laughs> Might not be the sweetest verse, but it'll get your blood pumping. Spool six. Uh, I'll take that into consideration. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know if we're going to go with that one. Clockwork Archivist. By the word of Set, I am bound. <coughs> Welcome to the Archivox, resident. How may I assist you? Can you direct me to a good love poem, please? Just a moment. Category not found. Your request, love poem, does not appear in our organizational schema. I regret that I was not able to help you today. Please report this deficiency to the archivist in residence. Wait, hold up. Are you sure there's nothing you can do? Dreaming. Discarded flowers. Empty cylinder. Thank you for your patience. This unit has generated an original composition based on your inquiry. Love, poem. Please claim your word form at school 17. Wait. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just write a poem? Poem. A collection of thematically appropriate statements and metaphors arranged in stanzaic sequence, including title and required punctuation. Yes. This unit has composed a poem. I hope it meets your specifications. May set bless your labors. Well, honestly, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Something's telling me it's not, though. Something, well, let's collect it anyways. Let, let's, actually, let's read it. Your merits defy calculation. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, your merits defy calculation. My heart, metaphorical, pumps like a piston. And my pelvic and or knee bra bracklets? Ossic well, this is clearly above my intelligence level. Whenever we make physical contact, also your face symmetry pleases me. This is literally a poem about sex and physical attraction. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, this is the this is the, the his. Well, I got a beard hair in my mouth. Gross. Uh, this is his poem. Let me see. Brissor's passion burned. A con conflagration again above my intelligence level. Um, a forbidden desire, given cruel voice by the charmed fish of his enemies. Death sang out its mournful dirge, and ripped the souls asunder. Sure. Welcome to the Archivox, where all children of Sotha Seal may hear his divine word. What can I help you with? Uh, actually, I'm looking for a good love poem. By any chance, could you help me out? A love poem? That's correct. Where to begin? I have so many favorites. Perhaps the song of the Axel. Or are you looking for something more conventional? Ode to Brass Lily might please you. It's over on... Spool 19. Spool 19. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's read this and see. Holy crap. That is long. I don't know if we're going to read this whole thing because, again, my reading level is at, like, first grade. Um, But we'll read maybe a paragraph, maybe two, depending on how well my reading is at this very moment. <laughs> but, uh... I'll definitely like let keep it on screen so that you guys can pause it and read it if you guys would like. But anyways, mystery of factotums. One must ponder the absence of academic interest in the field of factotums among the clockwork apostles. For machines that are so much a part of our daily lives, they are given very little thought. Few lectures are focused on them. Few books are written. Why are these machines so vital to the everyday processes of our existence, so ignored. Factotums are the invention of need servants of brass created by Lord Set to maintain his great creation, the Clockwork City. Repair factotums keep our many factories and functions running. Guard factotums secure the locations of our God's most dangerous secrets by their metal hands, our homes are kept clean. Our food is served. And music flows throughout our streets. But how much do we truly know about the, about the factotums which we work so closely with? The answer lies in the mystery of natures of the, fa of the factotums. Though the doctrines speak of mysteries, their importance and their performance they are still something we seek to solve. A formula, a theory, an answer which we can be replicated again and again. That is what clockwork apostles seek with their fields of study. For why strive for innovation when there are so many discoveries to be found? What do we know? Uh, uh, what we do know is that the factotums have a common appearance, voice, and sense of purpose. They hold a structured intelligence, often centered on the singular function. Their dialogue and actions are all based on this function, with only the commonly, a commonality of devotion to the clockwork god. Attempts to de deviate from this purpose is simply incomprehensible to them. Any further research towards factotums is consistently met with opposition. Their place of creation is heavily guarded, their functions severely limited the amount of information they can give about themselves. 
We don't know which manner of magic or machinery goes into their creation. And that's why we need to further our research on them. I seek to delve into the secrets of perhaps the most uh, en enigmatic of Lord Set's creations. My research is uh, focus on center on the structure, functions, and true purpose on these seemingly straightforward machines. I shall finally gain insight into what is perhaps the greatest mystery in all of Clockwork City. Well. That was interesting to say the least, but that does not scream love poem to me. Okay, let's see. Completed reading poems. Got it. So, a brass lily nodes under gentle showers. Its filigreed petals pol uh, polished by nature's caress. So too do you blush under a rain of kiss. Your gentle signs, a uh, size, put its grace to shame. I think we found our poem. Uh, Odell to a brass lily. This is the one that I like the most so far. Fresh parchment? What is this? This blank parchment awakes the pen stroke to which poem to choose. O o Odell to the brass lily, right? It's gotta be, because this is the factotums. This was the Nords and this was hers. So let's go ahead and click that one. Talk to Nightmare. You know what? It would have been funny if we would have just kind of screwed him over. Oh, he's already here. Night feathers <coughs> quiver with inspiration. Tell me, have you found a poem worthy of Lady Blightwing? Uh, really quick, before I forget, I kind of didn't. I didn't even realize I didn't finish my sentence. But uh, it'd be funny if we screwed him over and just got like the worst poem of them all. Probably the Nords is probably the worst one, because at least the sex one is based off of an intimate moment, right? The Nord one was just kind of just about battling, and it was weird. But okay, uh, yes, I found one of these poems. Well, which one should I use to woo my sharp-eyed love? Odell to a brass lily seems lovely. Show the knight your transcription. Hmm. Yes, perfect. Let's do that one. I can't wait to express my feelings in the sweaty, fat-legged, wingless tradition. <laughs> Follow me to the machine district, Squire. You can finally meet my lady love. And the Duke, too, I guess. I don't know if I want to meet this lady love of yours, but okay. I'll meet you at the, machines dis at the machine district. Away to the castle of my lady love. Let me look at the map. Oh, God, it's on the other side yet again. Literally where we met him in the first place. It might actually be the same place. No, it's not. It's around the same place. I think it was over there where we met him the first Take time. Take a breath and report. What's the situation in there? Grim, Proctor. Daedric beasts and shadow cultists control much of the district. And the crows. Oh, <laughs> the sky is thick with them. This way, Squire. Come, come. Varuni's auxiliary? What are you doing here? Uh... Well, let's talk to Lucilia. First that bastard debate, and now the crows? Your taste in companions grows worse by the hour. Sorry, we're having a very bad day. You mean to enter the machine district? Why? Well, this crow promised me to take uh promised to take me to the key uh they stole from Gascon. Hmm. Normally, I'd say we should simply kill them all and take the key by force. But it seems these birds have a real talent for hiding things. Daedra and cultists tossed the district for hours, and from what we can tell, they didn't find anything. Interesting. All the more reason to follow the crows. Fine. You can play their ridiculous game. For now. But I'm coming with you. I've lost enough citizens already. A word of advice. Don't let these Daedric pests push you around. We need to learn the nature of this key before it's too late. Alright, stay close to me then. Your metal woman is not allowed in Castle Blackfeather. I Say that again. I don't want to go anywhere near your filthy castle vermin. Let's get this over with. Well, s starting things on the right foot. Wound tight. Daedra could still be lurking around here. Okay. Good to know. That means we should stay at the ready. Look at all these crows. They're going to attack me, aren't they? Lady Blightwing? Well, mother, help me. 
My fair maiden of ruin. Ooh, I want to see this. swells to see you like a dead cat's belly warmed by the sun. A brass lily nods under gentle showers. Its shiny petals polished under a rain of kisses. <laughs> rain? No rain. It crinkles my feathers. Uh oh. Oh, no, not real rain. A rain of entrails. Yes, tasty entrails. Entrails? Oh, Sir Knight, you know the way to my heart goes through my gullet. Bring me entrails and I shall share with you. Maybe. She said yes. I owe you a debt, crow friend. Duke, Duke, may I present the featherless poet? Okay. It almost didn't work, but he kind of saved it on himself. Poet. Let me get a measure of you. Duke Dear of Crows. Crow friend, to my great knight of marrow, you come to parley? What boon do you seek from the Black Feather Court? Uh, I seek the key you stole from Clockwork Ballistica, uh, Basilica. I keep saying Ballistica. Uh, your grace. The shiniest? The great prize? Outrageous. What could you possibly offer us that rivals the luster of the magnificent lock poker? <laughs> speak quickly, speak! My knights and I must prepare for our next battle with the Exarchs of Dross! I mean, I could help you fight off these Exarch, uh, Exarchs. You would take up the black for the banner? Tempting. The Exarchs use wingless allies to shoot down my vassals and scatter my treasures. But if we had a giant of our own... <laughs> well, I accept! Go! Destroy the Exarchs and the key is yours! Hey! Yours! How'd you get here? Through a pool of shadow, we heard the call of our mistress and obeyed. But once we saw this great sea of treasures, we decided to revolt. The Duke of Crows does as he pleases. This city of shimmering prizes belongs to us now. Okay then. So the Sil might have a problem with that. I have heard this name, Sothasil, a dead king. Soon dead king, I've heard it said. It makes no difference. The Black Feather Court claims this place. It's ours. Ours! I mean, so the Sil's kind of like a living god almost, so you might want to relax there, little bird. Wait, you've heard about Sword of the Sil? What else do you know? I know only that he's a half metal giant who hides in a buzzing nest deep within the city, and that the Exarchs and their featherless allies want him dead. But how does this help the war effort? Enough talk. Go, go. Okay, hold on. Relax for a second, all right? I need some information first. Why are you fighting these Exarchs anyways? The Exarchs of Dross hate us. They envy <clears throat> our fine plumage and covet our gleaming treasures. I parleyed with their leader before, the Queen of Chaff. She thinks that Deidre will reward her for loyal service, but we know that's not true. Not true! Okay, how long have you been fighting? Eons in crow time. But the Black Feather Court will not be intimidated by these grackles. My <laughs> knights will pluck the queen's vain feathers and leave her to flop about like a fledgling. Uh, very well. Goodbye. That was interesting. Proctor Lucilla. Luc... So, whatever. I'm going to fight birds. If only my Reman dragoons could see me now, channeling the arcane to defeat poultry Luciana Luciana I need to remember that I can't I can't remember her name for some reason which my name is Lucia should be kind of easy but I guess not uh we have uh to scare the other crows away then he'll give us the key you know it's times like these that I really wish I had a sense of humor <laughs> but since I don't I expect you to keep the details of this entire escapade to yourself don't worry, we're in this together. You're really reaching. Enough small talk. Let's kick the droppings off our boots and get on with it. She's kind of a dick, but in in a in a in a good way. I kind of like her. Is it below? Yeah, it is below. All right. So how do we scare these guys away? Do we have to kill them? Is that the thing? For Narnia! Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Take one step Why do 
Shut up. Fly, fools. I like these guys. Okay. We're looking for one more. There we go. Shut up. That... It cannot possibly be that easy. Ha! Well struck, Squire. The Exarchs are in full retreat. Look how they claw like chicks and empty their bowels. The time has come for a counterattack. Prepare for your greatest challenge, crow friend. The Motionless Guardian. Um... The Motionless Guardian? Yes, yes. The flightless cultists summoned it to guard their treasures. The Guardian stands like a mountain of brass and fury. We cannot approach it. But as a featherless giant, you might be immune to its gaze. Alright, I guess I'll deal with this motionless guardian of yours. Behold, Black Feathers! <coughs> Our giant prepares to destroy the guardian! He literally just flew through the bottom of the bridge. Just want to make that perfectly clear. Okay, how do I... How do I get over there? Wait, do I go this way? I don't know why I did that. Uh-oh. Wasn't expecting people here. I kind of changed Bastion's abilities if it's not already obvious. <clears throat> he does a little bit more DPS now. Some of his whoops. Some of what does she say? A motionless guardian. Hope you remember to stretch. Agreed. Yeah, so before he had a couple of skills that really weren't doing anything. Because he's kind of like a range build almost. Like a mid-tier build or whatever. And some of his abilities really weren't reaching the end. Or just, he wasn't doing them. Because he wasn't close enough. So. It helps now. Sit your butt down. He tried to fight me with a shovel. There he goes. Bam! He got hit with a comet. I want to fight him just for fun. He does that. He does that ability quite a lot, doesn't he? Very nice. Strike true, crow friend. First of all, oh, there's a strike right there. Ha! Come on, Bastion, help me! Tremble, guardian! Our giant approaches. It's, it's a scarecrow that's not really scaring anything or anyone. Destroy the motionless guardian. This is gotta be victory for the court. Now let us take wing black feathers back to the duke. This has gotta be the dumbest quest I've ever done. But I mean that as a compliment, oddly enough. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Come on, Bastion and Lucian Luciana. Wait, hold on, where am I going? Above? Uh, return Blackfeather to the castle. Follow the elevated platforms. I kind of want to see what the elevated platforms are. I'm fairly confident it's back around here somehow. Oh, that's probably how I get to that. I don't, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking. We'll figure it out here in a second. Oh, I put myself in a strenuous situation here. Bastion, there was no need to use your little comet, okay? <clears throat> Goodbye, Mr. Factotum. Is it... Is it this way? Legit, I have no idea where I'm going, right? Oh, hello. 
Perhaps I should switch my weapons at this time. Ooh, we got some more factotums that want to fight. Put down. She would not. How do I get through there? Oh. Found it. Ow. Ow. It's a good thing I have uh, my regen ability. Look at that. It's a lot easier to do damage now. Haha. Oh. These things are coming out of no. You're not doing nothing. Also, you. No, not. Notch. What? What did she say? Another notch in our belts. Hmm? Victory over a pile of garbage. Let's head back and get this over with. One second. I want to know what's over here. The quest says return to Blackfeather Castle, but I want to know what's over here. Perhaps it's even the right way to go. We're almost there, though. Bastion having these abilities is a godsend, to be honest. He does quite a bit more in the DPS department. If I had to guess, maybe he's in the, like, the 7, 8, 8K department range. Which I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it... Oh, this is just... This was just the way around way to get back here. I've chased enough birds for one day. It's kind of weird that this is considered the castle, by the way. Hey! Victory! We picked the bones clean and plundered the exarch's hoard. A proud day for the Black Feather Court. Now, the Queen of Chaff <laughs> sent an emissary requesting a parley. I have a plan to scare her off for good. I need your help. Wait a minute. You said if I defended the uh, defeated the Exarchs, you'd give me the key. I know what I said, fledgling. You've not defeated the Exarchs yet. Even now, they clean their plumage and sharpen their beaks. Unless we break the will of their queen, they will always return. This will be your last task. I swear it. Swear. Fine, but this is it. What's your plan? A trick, a bluff, a great crow scheme. Meet me in a building called Incarnatorium. I will explain <clears throat> all. Okay. Goodbye. She's not gonna be happy. Done, right? Where's the key? Uh, actually, we have one more task. We have to scare off the Exarch's queen. I think I've been more than accommodating, but I am done taking orders from a talking bird. <laughs> I'll remain here to guard the entrance, just in case more cultists or Daedra arrive. You just make this quick, all right? Yeah, all right. I'll be back soon. You'd better be. With the key and without an obnoxious flying escort, all right? Yeah, that's fair. I 100% I, I agree with you. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> we're, we're listening to a freaking talking crow. Okay. This has got to be the dumbest quest we've done so thus far. And I mean that as a compliment. We don't have to be sneaking or anything, do we? Hello? Talk to the Duke of Crows. Oh, the Duke of Crows is here. Okay, so no enemies yet. We must stun her with my magnificence! Are you ready? I mean, I guess. How do you plan to accomplish this anyways? Look around. I picked this place for a reason. Pulley and pushy contraptions abound. When the city's wingless servants fiddle with them, the gears turn and pipes creak. I need to convince the Queen of Chaff that these machines serve me and me alone. Got it. So you want me to operate these controls in secret? Yes, exactly. The performance. <clears throat> My legs, while smelt and regal, are not strong enough to push and pull these levers. 
I need you and your meaty hands. When the Exarch's queen witnesses my powers, she will take wing and never return. I mean, it sounds like it could work. All right. Uh, do you, uh, do you know what any of these controls do? Of course not. No more time to play. The queen's entourage approaches. Hide yourself. Hide. Hide. Fine. Where the hell am I supposed to hide? I'm assuming. I feel the power of the machine now. You expect me to believe that? Give me the key or we'll peck you to ribbons. Behold! What? <laughs> Steady, Exarx. It's just a trick. Awaken machines, awaken! Awaken machines? She's getting nervous. I am the queen of chaff. You're doomed. Queen of getting chafed, maybe. My machines will destroy you. Strange lever. No. Impossible. Impossible. Now, queen of chaff, you will die. Uh-oh. Wait, did she die or did she just fly away? I missed it because we got attacked by a freaking... What are these things called again? I don't even know. Okay, let me see. We may have a complication. My, my. This would be much easier if you had feathers. What are you talking about now? You're talking to... Uh, you're taking me to the key now, right? I have, <clears throat> kind of. I hid the great prize nearby. But in your zeal to impress me, you threw the wrong switch. Now the door leading to the shiniest is blocked. Blocked! I can fly through, but you will need to take the long way round. Why can't you just fly there, grab it, bring it back, and give it to me? Okay, but anyways, which way? No! I will dispatch my proud knight of marrow to accompany you. Good luck. Oh my god, you stupid bird. Making this complicated. North. How the hell do I go north? Can't open that. I clearly can't go that way. Can't go that way. So, do north. Follow me, crow friend. The shiniest treasure awaits. Okay. On you. I wish I could see his name. Oh, hello. I'm gonna do the majority of damage, at least try to. And then I'm just gonna let Bastion handle the rest. Oh, where'd you come from? Sit your butt down. Oh, I hate getting... Uh... CC'd, man. <gasps> okay! Run! Run, bird! Or fly! Yeah, that one. That one sounds right. Crap. There was no hiding from that one. Or this one. Okay, Bastion. You can handle my lightweight. Look at all these clicky, clanky lizard monsters. Ooh, that was close. You don't see nothing. You don't see anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Did... Where the hell did the bird go? It just kind of flew in this direction and disappeared. Okay. We're gonna have to fight a boss, aren't we? What do we got going on here? Who the hell are you? Ooh, that's a cool looking boss. For Narnia! 
pull a switch. Run! Oh, you're so dead. Look at that. Look at that damage. Dunzo. Talk to the Duke of Crows. Oh, Dukeums. Oh, we're back to square one. Wait, did we pick up? We didn't pick up the key. This bird better not have screwed us over. I believe he would be that type of person. Or entity. Is it? Is it a person? I don't know. I'll let you guys discuss that in the comment section. We'll just call him a crow for now. <clears throat> the a the ass fortress, the brass fortress. Can't imagine an ass fortress, but okay, sure, we'll go with that one. Hey, Mr. Duke of Crows, where's my freaking key? Over the exarch's king at great cost, Quill and Claw. Our lost knight was a true hero. We will not forgive, and we will not forget. I do not know which lock the Shadow plans to poke with the key he stole, but we will help you stop him. You will help us find the Shadow of Sultasil and the Skeleton Key? Yes. You are as much a member of this court as any crow. Our swift wings and keen eyes are at your disposal. Find the Shadow of Sultasil, claim the key he stole, and avenge my Knight of Marrow. Got it. I see what happened. I guess I missed it initially, but the, the shadow stole the actual key. Oh, Luciana's not going to be happy. She is not going to be happy. You look haggard. What happened in there? So, the shadow of Sotha still attacked. And it took the key, the skeleton key. The skeleton key? Nocturnal's key? Yep, that one. Damn it. I always suspected, but hoped it wasn't true. That key is a trans-dimensional artifact of unimaginable power. We have to get it back. Yeah, I mean, I agree. The skeleton key can literally unlock any door. Uh, I mean, it opened up the freaking Thieves Guild Master Safe that required, I think it was like five people in Skyrim. Uh, but anyways, so what's our next step? Or was it three? I don't know. Alarm. Slag it. Someone's breaching the Cogitum Centralis. I have to get back to the Basilica. Meet me there. Okay, I bet y'all beat you there. Nope, because as soon as you get close to the door, you're going to teleport. Watch. I guess... I guess she just teleported. <clears throat> Where's the door to the Basilica? Okay, it's... Literally the main building. I mean, I guess I should have known that already. I'm not meant to be here. You've said that before. I'm gone. Hello. Where are we going? Hello. You arrived just in time. I don't know how much more of Devaith and Varuni's bickering I could take. What's happening now? It's as I feared. The Shadow breached the Cogitum Centralis, Lord Seth's seat of power. If it reaches the core, if it removes Lord Seth from the throne aligned, we can't let that happen. You should steel yourself for the battles ahead. Okay. And of course, I should have known better. There we go. I really need to clean my inventory. It's as I fear. We arrived too late. As soon as the shadow of Sotha Seal claimed the skeleton key, it slithered into the fundament and sealed all the doors leading to the Cogitum Centralis. Fear and Varuni tried to break the seal. You can see how that turned out. Uh, are there any alternate routes uh, into the Cognum Centralis? <clears throat> None. Lord Set designed the Cogitum to be virtually impenetrable. Even so, these whispering shadow cultists move through the city unhindered. I don't know how. Perhaps if we discover how they navigate the city, we can use that against them. Interesting. 
The Shadow of Solta still used a pool of darkness to escape the Incarnatorium? Hmm. I crossed staves with an Argonian mage once. He could leap through shadows, crossing long distances in seconds. Maybe that's the answer? Shadow portals of some kind? We need more information. Inside perspective. How should we go about doing that? We have that bastard Gascon jailed in the East Wing. He spent most of his time sulking, but he might speak to you. He did spare his life, after all. Ask him about this shadowy pool you described. If there are others like it, we need to know. Uh... What do you know about the skeleton key? Only what I read in the Imperial Histories as a student. Our libraries don't carry any literature on Daedra or their relics. I hmm. argued against the ban, but the Congress wouldn't budge. They don't understand how dangerous these creatures can be. That's kind of stupid. Knowing about all of that is imperative, I think. Look at the situation that we're at hand right now. If uh, one of those Daedric artifacts was to be used against them, it would be nice to know a thing or two about them, you know? So banning it, at least from an intellectual point of view, is kind of stupid. But I guess I can understand where they're coming from. Because knowing about the items is going to influence or perhaps even uh, motivate some people who have dark intentions to obtain said artifacts for themselves and do some nefarious things. But that's a, that's a, I think that's a good, uh, I guess, having that being a possibility is imperative to have freedom, right? You can't have freedom unless you have the freedom or the right to do the wrong things, right? That is not to say that you're gonna, you're not gonna pay for doing the wrong thing. Of course, you should pay. But having that freedom in itself is imperative to a free society. I think at least you guys are more than welcome to discuss that in the comment section, but keep it civil since it's rather opinionated. Well, what do you know? Daedric princes litter the world with profane relics, artifacts meant to corrupt or ensorcel the greedy and weak-minded. Hermaeus Mora offers a book. Periite grants a shield. Nocturnal is more generous. She provides a mask, a bow, and a key. The skeleton key. Exactly. Scholars say the key can open any lock, regardless of its complexity. Some say it can unlock gates to other worlds, or even open metaphorical doors. I don't need to tell you how dangerous that power could be. So the Shadow of Sothasil seeks to unlock the center of the Clockwork City. I think it may go even deeper than that. Lord Set modified himself extensively over the centuries. I think the Shadow, the Shadow may try to unlock Sothasil himself. What is the co uh, cog cog it tum uh, centralis exactly? The heart of the Clockwork City, Lord Set's seat of power. He spends his periods of seclusion there, sculpting the future, as the saying goes. Very few mortals have ever stepped foot inside. Have you ever seen it? Once, and only for a moment. Truthfully, I didn't enter with a pious heart. A story for another time. All I can tell you is the Cogatum exists at the center of, well, everything. It's the axle that spins the wheel. You'll see soon enough. Are you sure he's even in there? He has to be. If he were on Arteum, the city would be locked in slumbering mode. Less light, slower manufacturing, reductions in factotum services. But everything hums and cranks as it should. He is definitely here. And his shadow knows it. Oh, that's scary. Understood. So you have a prison in the Basilica. Of sorts. Our legal system is pretty rudimentary, mostly because we use it so rarely. Infractions result in exile most of the time. But this business with Gascon and Clavicus Vile is a good deal more serious than research sabotage or plagiarism. You're exile- oh, uh, you exile people for plagiarism? Not all. Sometimes we mind lock them in one of our rumination chambers. I suspect that's what awaits our former chancellor. If we make it through this alive, of course. 
Mind lock. Cognitive prison. We induce a coma and set the brain on a recursive loop, trapping the condemned in an inescapable mental space. As far as I know, we've only done it 12 times. That's fucked up! <laughs> that sounds pretty extreme. Better than a summary execution. Remember, I grew up in the Riemann military. Brain jail sounds pretty lenient to me. I'd rather you off me. Goodbye. So now we uh, talk to the ja counselor, Gascone. So he's literally just in a neighboring building. So let's go ahead and talk to this lunatic.